because they focused a lot on how we are so i think that if there is a quality hiring there is a quality learning so i could see right. that in your company so she agreed on me and i think she was quite happy with that so at that time i got to know about lumic and it was an off campus opportunity so i was quite lucky there also Hi and welcome to Coding Ninjas friends. I am Kabir Singh and I have brought to you another spectacular interview experience. So we have Vartika with us today who is going to tell us how she actually cleared the interview for Lumic.ai which is another startup I guess which is put up in Noida. So let's see how she actually got into the company, how she cracked an internship interview over there. So hi Vartika, how are you doing? Hi Kabir, I am doing great. How are you? And thank you for calling me here thanks i'm doing great you're welcome you're most welcome to the channel so uh, vartika can we get a quick introduction about you so that we can start up uh, with the interview experience at lumic yeah sure so i started with 2018 when i started to my graduation year at that time i started my you know getting knowing how things work in companies because before that i didn't have any idea what to learn how to crack a company right so it all started in actually second year because before that i had no idea what languages are what programming is right. so from second year i started i I got to know about coding ninjas and luckily i have a great senior who helped me and who told me that mm -hmm. how things work so i took a course and then in fourth year i was looking for internships because uh, in my college it was a mandatory to have an internship in right. eighth semester so at that time i got to know about lumic and it was an off campus opportunity so i was quite lucky there also great okay. i went to it So talking about you make interview experience uh, Vartika I would like to ask you how many rounds were there in total when you sat for the interview Yeah so it was on campus so we had three rounds like uh, if I count the screening round also resume screen then it's four so first mm -hmm. our resume got shortlisted based upon the criteria like percentage gpa all that and then mm -hmm. I had an oa after that it was a tr and okay. then we had an HR So was round. it an off campus opportunity or an on campus opportunity It was a on campus opportunity for me Okay okay So let's go with the rounds one by one. Now, what was there in the first round actually? So in the first round, we had questions related to pseudo codes actually related to mm -hmm. programming. We had okay. computer fundamentals like uh, computer networks questions were there. DBMS, okay. OOPs was very much asked even uh, like in the TR also, and it okay. has other topics which are there in our curriculum like uh, microprocessing. Okay. Some questions were there, some operating system questions were there, so it was like that. Okay, and then how was the round? If you you know, I ask you to. the difficulty of the round would you rate it to be easy medium or hard i would rate it between a uh, medium to easy the reason because all the question which were covered was from my subjects like i have read okay. them in my uh, different semester so i had dbms i had this oops subject i had uh -huh. sql in my colleges so okay. i was very much clear with that in my college so i don't Correct. have to do anything extra i just prepared what was in my college curriculum oh okay So moving forward to the second round how was the second round for you those were my initial interviews i didn't know how to prepare how to uh, say my approach so it was mm -hmm. a little challenging but i think okay. if someone have appeared two three times then it's normal so okay. they asked me question like they focused on two things one was sql they asked mm -hmm. me a lot and uh, one was the data structures they okay. asked me to make a binary tree they asked me to make a stack so if you are clear with your fundamentals i think then it's going to be easy great moving forward towards the difficulty level of uh, the second round i must say how was it was it easy difficult hard not comparing it by you know somebody who's giving it for the first time or somebody who's actually experienced it but actual content uh, difficulty how much would you rate it i would say it was medium okay you would it say was, it was medium yeah okay moving on what was there in the third round then in the third round it was hr round and uh -huh. it was quite i would say like not other how other rounds went through because they focused a lot on how we are my hr asked me a lot of questions like why i want to join this because at that time i had different offers also so she asked mm -hmm. me that you have same offers at same level so why you are choosing us and she was very much into is the candidate very much interested so i think it was a little more difficult than other hrs but it was nice okay so like they were more into situational type questions yeah. i would say okay yeah, and yeah. Uh, would you tell us some questions which were 
on your mind always like you know some very difficult questions which you found hard to answer so not much difficult but there was one question she asked me which at that time i had same offer like i mentioned so she asked me that what is the reason like uh, because you have same offer you have same profile everything so what was that reason so i told her that in other offers i saw that they hired like 50 candidates they shortlisted mm-hmm. but in your company i saw that it's only uh, 19 till now i don't know how much will go forward so i think that if there is a quality hiring there is a quality learning. so i could see right. that in your company so she agreed on me and i think she was quite happy with that okay and i would like to ask you one more question that you know i've heard that in every hr round the first very question is tell me something about yourself right so when you talk about that question what would be your suggestion of tips or tricks to answer that question you know how would you answer that question and how would you recommend people to give a spectacular answer for that question since it's asked in every interview yeah so i would start with my a little quick journey that which branch i am and how i started about that and then mm-hmm. i would say something which is relevant to that company so for example okay. if it's a java developer profile i will tell that how i started my journey and what else i have done in java because that will excite them that will give them right. an insight that what you have done mm-hmm. and then if you have done some hackathons or any competitions that would add on and it would give a great impression so i would Correct. say line to that role and tell about yourself okay and moving forward you know to the last very question which i would like to ask you vartika is some suggestions that you have for the juniors or the people watching this interview experience to follow up so that they can get into good companies and you know some mistakes that you did which you recommend them not to do something like that yeah so one suggestion which i would like to give and which i also followed that never get disheartened with the rejections because when i got placed i think i was among the last one in my you know batch who, who got placed so it was very mm-hmm. quite uh, because you are the only one who are left so mm-hmm. it's quite depressing i can understand with that but if you have done some hard work it never goes waste so Correct. have faith in yourself have faith in your hard work things will go fine and surely everything will be on your way so don't get disheartened with the rejections i would say that's that's really nice so any other technical based uh, suggestions do you have related to dsa or some other technical topics which are always uh, asked and you would recommend them to study yeah so one thing which i saw that was asked from me every time was implementation like we know mm-hmm. what is stack we know what is queue but if someone asks someone like how to implement it at that time okay. student fumbles so i think right. they should have this uh, clarity this you know basics clear that how to implement a stack because these questions are asked nowadays very much so i think mm-hmm. that student should not focus on using a stack they should know how actually build a stack so right. i would give this one tip i should say to everyone and which has helped me a lot as well correct correct okay so thank you so much vartika for helping us out uh, with your interview experience it was really nice how you put it up and i hope to shoot another video with you pretty soon so thank yeah. you so much and guys also vartika has written this down the entire interview experience she has written it down as a part of an article for coding ninjas if you want to read that also i'll put the link in the description below you can always go and check it out so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one happy coding guys thank you